What's up everyone, it's Kelly, and today I've got another favorites video for you. Today we're talking about my top 10 favorite nail polishes that came out for fall and Halloween 2023. And this is an ongoing series on my channel, just something that I like to do each season because sometimes it can be very overwhelming to get so many new polishes coming out. So I like to just go over my top absolute favorites. And this year we are combining fall and Halloween just because Halloween is coming up very soon. And I feel like a lot of these give me both fall vibes and Halloween vibes. So I thought I would just do them together. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. All of these polishes are new for the season and they're all currently available at the time of filming. So first up, we'll start with what I would consider to be a fall classic. And this is Starly Flame Jelly. This was part of the new Starly Jellyfish Journey collection that came out for fall. I really loved all of these because as you know, I love a jelly nail polish, but this one was a huge standout for me. It's just this really vibrant red jelly. And when I first tried it, I thought of it as more of a summery kind of jelly just because it is very bright. It almost has that like cherry red kind of coloring to it, which I normally associate with warmer seasons. But once I wore this, I realized that it really did feel like that classic fall red. To me, having like vibrant red nails just feels very much like a fall thing. And I just love the versatility of it. I love that you can do jelly sandwiches with it, which is something that I also love to do. And I love that no matter how many coats you do of this polish, it's not patchy at all. So if you want it to be a little bit lighter and brighter for other seasons, you can wear it in less coats. But if you want it to really ramp up the intensity, you can do more coats. So I was just really impressed with the formula of this. I love the way that it looks. I love that super intense high shine. And even though this is a classic fall color to me, I just feel like it also would work really well for Halloween because this vibrant red would just be perfect for like some bloody nail art too. Next up, we've actually got two shades. They're not dupes of each other, but they're similar enough that I don't think you necessarily need to own both, but they're both gorgeous enough that I thought that they would be both worth mentioning. And as we all know, it's not really a Kelly Marissa favorites video unless I pretend that there are less polishes in the video than there actually are. So there's not actually 10 favorites in this video. There are a little bit more. So I'll just go one at a time. We'll start off with ILNP Carved. This one is just super stunning. It almost has like a pinky base to it, but it is absolutely packed with this golden orange flaky glitter. And it's just so vibrant and lit from within looking. It really does feel like the perfect pumpkin-y kind of color. I think this also works really well for summer just because it's so vibrant, but it just feels like the perfect Halloween-y kind of shade to me. I can imagine jack-o'-lantern nail art over it, just like the little faces in black over this color would be so stunning. It's so packed with flakies that it really just takes over the nail, but it makes it feel very elegant because of that sort of irregular soft flaky shape. Definitely a really gorgeous shade. Immediately fell in love with it as soon as I tried it. And then the second polish is pretty similar. This is KB Shimmer Patch Things Up, and this is another one that has an almost pinky base, but the intensity of that shimmer in there turns it into an orangey color. So this one actually has an iridescent shimmer in here that head on looks like this almost greenish gold color, but around the edges, you see this intense orangey color. And just for the same reasons, I really love it. It feels vibrant enough that you can definitely wear this for summer, but it also just feels like a very eye-catching Halloween-y kind of color just because that orange is so intense. And especially with this one, having that almost greenish kind of glow to it, it makes it feel a little bit more evil vibes, if that makes any sense. So definitely another one I really enjoyed. Again, I don't think these two shades are dupes, but I do think they're similar enough that you could probably just pick one and then have that because they both have very similar vibes. Although if you're like me, you can justify them being different enough to own them both. I don't think you necessarily need them both, but I really like both of them. I don't think I could be a favorite. Next up, we have a polish from the Orly Breathable line. This one is called Yam It Up, and this is actually from from their fall winter collection, but this one is just such a stunning color. I absolutely had to mention it. It's just the perfect slightly dusty orange color. It definitely looks exactly like the inside of a yam, but it also feels like a perfect pumpkin color. And because it's part of the breathable line, I really love this around this time of year, especially once it starts to get a little bit colder out and my nails start feeling brittle. I love the breathable line because it does make me feel like my nails are getting a little bit strengthened. Honestly, I really enjoyed that whole collection. I thought the colors 
story was beautiful, but I just really think this orange color is gonna carry me through, honestly, probably till the end of the year, just because it feels like such a perfect shade. Sometimes you're just in the mood for a classic cream polish, and that is what this is, and I really like it. Next up, we have the shade from OPI. This one is the Leo Only One. <laughs> And this was part of their Zodiac collection for fall 2023. It actually came out a while ago, but really a phenomenal collection. And I honestly enjoyed almost all of those. But this one to me just felt like the fall standout just because of this color. It's actually this like pearlized shimmery finish. So it has a little bit of that brush strokiness, but it's this intense golden color. And the shimmer in it is so intense that it almost looks a little bit greenish on the nails. And for some reason, when I see this kind of color, it just makes me think, of fall. There's just something about like the slight darkness of the golden base color with the intensity of that almost greenish glow in there that just feels, I don't know, very October to me. But I really enjoyed the formula of this one. I really loved the creativity of this color. I think it's just so interesting and it's a little bit funky for a mainstream brand, which I really appreciated. So another one I really, really enjoyed. Moving on, we have Mooncat Sand Viper. And this is a shade that I really love as soon as I tried it from their Midnight Rodeo collection. But the more I looked at it, the more I found myself really liking it. And I think it's actually become my favorite in that collection, just because I feel like it's so perfect for this time of year, but it's also a polish that you can really wear any time of year. It's this very soft blush pink nude base that is packed with a really delicate iridescent shimmer that kind of shifts depending on the angle, but mostly it looks like a gold into copper kind of color. And I think this is such a beautiful shade. It doesn't have any patchiness, which is really nice, but you can build it up to more coverage. And I think one of the reasons I really like this shade is because it matches really nicely with my skin tone, which is interesting because I think I'm very warm toned and this is definitely on the pinkier side, but I think having that golden color coppery shimmer in there really warms it up. So it almost felt like an extension of my nails, but in a fancy way. So I really love that. There's just something about wearing like a nude or neutral kind of color in the fall that just feels perfect to me, even though obviously the majority of these polishes are very intense colors. I don't know. This one just feels like a perfect in between of being like a neutral, but also having a lot of exciting shimmer in it. But speaking of neutrals, Orly Shaky Alibi is definitely my favorite of the season. Again, a little bit of a cooler toned neutral. This is blush beige color again. It leans a little bit on like the taupey pink kind of side and it just feels like the perfect fall neutral shade. It feels like a palette cleanser to me. Sometimes I just wear so many really intense sparkly colors that I need something very simple to kind of like reset my mind and my nails and this has been the color for me. I just think it's so stunning and I do think that slightly cooler tone makes it feel more appropriate for colder weather. I don't know why I feel that way, but that's just how it works in my brain. The warmer neutrals feel a little bit more springy to me and the cooler neutrals feel a little bit more fall, but just an amazing formula, a really gorgeous color. And I also think this would be such a perfect base for nail art. If you want to do any sort of like little pumpkin design, I think this would be so beautiful as a backdrop because sometimes, especially around this time of year, having a white background just feels a little bit too stark. And I just like slightly softening it up by having a more nude base kind of background. Next up, we have another shade from Island P. This one is called Frankie, and this is actually a magnetic polish. So it's this really beautiful green shimmery polish, but when you apply a magnet to it, you just get that really gorgeous, intense three-dimensional effect. There's also just a little bit of extra color in here that you can just barely see, but it adds so much dimension. Like I can see a little bit of like gold and blue in there that kind of mix together and form this green. I just think this is such a stunning color. I actually love the way that it looks even without magnetization. I love a good green. I love when they're really vibrant and eye-catching. And this one, again, almost has that like lit from within kind of glow to it. So I think that makes it very special, but it also looks super stunning when it's magnetized. Even though looking at this right now, I'm thinking this is such a perfect Halloween color. You could do like little black stitches over it to make it like Frankenstein's monster. But I can also see this working really well as a December color just for Christmassy vibes. So I really love a polish that I I feel like works 
for multiple seasons. I know not everybody wears their polishes seasonally, but I personally like doing that. And I still like finding polishes that I, I feel like I can justify for multiple seasons. Next up, we have another green shade. This is Zoya Murphy. And this was part of their fall 2023 collection, which I actually really enjoyed. I feel like for a while, I wasn't super into new Zoya collections, but I think they really did a great job with this one. And I think this green just feels like the perfect fall green. There's something about this like slightly grayed out coloring to it that makes it so stunning. It's a very deep color. It has that grayish undertone, but there's a little bit of this like champagne-y colored shimmer running throughout that just adds a little touch of sparkle to it. And I also think it looks especially stunning when you put a matte top coat over it. This is the kind of like classic fall green that I think of where it's like almost this gray color with like a tinge of green to it. But I could also see this working as a really great deep winter kind of color just because sometimes those grayed out shades just feel like the perfect thing to wear after the holidays are over and I'm kind of like sick of the jeweled tones. I just want to wear something that's like a little dusty. You know what I mean? So I feel like I'm going to wear this one a lot. But right now it just feels like the perfect fall shade. Like imagine this with like a little snakeskin design on it. It just it feels perfect. Next we have the shade Starly Black Widow and this is a color that I did not expect to love as much as I did. This was part of their Halloween collection and this is your classic black to red multi-chrome polish. So looking at it head on I mostly see black but it fades into red and then at certain angles you can see that red go into like orange, yellow, green, even into blue. And a lot of brands have done a black to red multi-chrome but what makes this one special is that it's actually packed with a super super teeny tiny golden fleck. Somehow that subtle little fleck in there completely changes the vibe of this polish and as soon as I applied it I immediately fell in love with it. There's just a perfect combination of like it feels very elegant having that gold in there but also it almost feels like I don't know a little evil and Halloween-y because at some angles that golden fleck almost gives off a greenish hue. I just think it's so fascinating. I think it's such a fun twist on this classic kind of color and I have to say a black to red multi-chrome is my favorite type of multi-chrome so seeing a twist on that just felt very exciting to me and of course the formula is really incredible. I love the starly formula so I knew it was going to be very good, but I definitely love this shade. Cannot get enough of it. And then we have Mooncat Pumpkin King. This was from their Nightmare Before Christmas collection. And this was another one that just felt like a twist on a classic polish that I love a lot. So looking at it straight on, it almost seems like it's just a black scattered hollow polish, but there's actually this red teeny tiny flake running throughout that again just completely transforms the vibe of the polish. It almost gives it like this villainy kind of edge to it and it gives it very Halloweeny vibes especially when the light hits it and you can see that red color coming through. It just feels very cool. I honestly really enjoyed this whole Nightmare Before Christmas collection and I really loved those glow in the dark shades but this one just having that red in there just elevated it so much to me and made it feel like such a special color. So this is definitely the one that I am feeling for the Halloween vibes, but I also think it works really well just for fall in general, especially like the deep vampy colors. Like this is almost the opposite where it's just like a very deep color, but then there's just like a little hint of vamp in there. So very much appreciate this one as well. So yeah, that was my 10 slash 11 favorites. But before we end the video, I do want to talk about some honorable mentions. I didn't want to include these in my favorites because one, they're not standalone polishes and two, I made them, so I'm a little bit biased. But there are three polishes that were in my Halloween advent calendar with Orly that I think are just the perfect Halloween shades, which is why I made them. <laughs> so I want to talk about them really quick. The first shade is Gone Batty, and this is a remix of my Wing It topper from last Halloween. And this is actually a holographic gold glitter topper that features black bat shaped glitters in it. It just feels like such a fun shade. I love the little bat glitters in there. Personally, the way that I like to wear it is I like to wipe off all the bats off of the brush and just apply it as if it was just a glitter hollow topper and then individually go in and place the bats. But you can fish around with the bottle brush and apply it with the bats. I just like placing them because I, I, I'm very particular about where I want them to be on my nail. But it just feels like a perfect Halloween-y shade to me with the bats. But then also having the 
warmth of that golden color makes it feel also like a good November kind of shade to me. I don't know why November makes me think of like dusty oranges and deep gold. So I don't know. I, ju I just feel like it's a good shade for that. But again, I'm very biased because I helped make it. <laughs> then we have the shade Haunted Symphony and this is a remix of my favorite purple nail polish of all time, which is Synthetic Symphony by Orly. And this just felt like the Halloween-y twist on that color. We added a little iridescent shimmer in there that looks green head on and around the edges you can see a little bit of a pinky color. And again, there's just something about purple, especially paired with green, which is spoiler alert, the final color that I'm going to talk about that just feels very like villain to me and that just makes me think of Halloween. And I don't know, purple, green, and orange together just scream Halloween to me. And I just feel like this is such a pretty shade. I cannot get enough of it. I love that Orly let me mess around with Synthetic Symphony because it's such a classic color. So doing a little twist on it felt so fun. And then the final shade I want to talk about is Neon Dystopia. It's just this gorgeous lime green. It's a remix of Neon Paradise. And again, we added that iridescent shimmer in there and it combines really interesting with this lime green kind of color where it almost actually looks blue when you're looking at it. So again, just this paired with the purple feels like the perfect Halloween manicure to me. Something about this lime green just feels like slime, like ectoplasm, like very ghostly poison kind of vibe. So definitely a very fun shade to wear for Halloween. So yeah, that is my top 10 favorites that are actually 14 favorites because I can never just stop at 10. I'll do a little quick comparison chart for you so you can see all of the colors. Clearly I'm in a very specific type of mood this year. I think normally in the fall I gravitate towards like the browns and the oranges, which I, I do have a couple of oranges in here, but I feel like I'm definitely leaning towards the shades that I kind of see in the trees and stuff. And maybe that's because I live in an area that does not have trees that change colors. So I, I'm kind of craving that on my nails, but I don't know. I really, enjoy the color palette that I've come up with for this time of year. It's definitely speaking to me and I feel like there's just so many great Halloween-y type shades this year. So I've been trying my best to work my way through them. Probably going to be painting my nails almost every day for the final week of October and I hope that you enjoyed my picks but I'm curious to hear what you think. What is your favorite fall polish that came out for 2023 and what is your favorite Halloween polish that came out for 2023? And also, what are you going to wear on your nails for Halloween day? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my favorites videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Ken, Paula, and Rosie. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Caroline and Caroline wants to know, what is your go-to outfit, makeup, and hair look for when you want to feel your most confident. I don't know that I have an outfit specifically because I, I try to really only have clothes that I really feel comfortable wearing. As far as hair, I almost always wear it down. There is one accessory that is like my go-to for when I'm, you know, wanting to feel my best. As you know, I always like to wear a choker and I do have a favorite choker, which I'm sure you can guess what it is just based on what I wear most often. It's not this one, but the rubber jelly choker that I wear that it's like the, the 90s vibes. That is my go-to choker. I actually have like a whole pack of them. So once they start to get a little too stretched out, I just switch to the next one. And that is like my number one thing for when I'm feeling like I need to be feeling confident. As far as makeup, I think actually similar to what I'm wearing right now, I love wearing very cool tones like the purples and the blues and the greens and stuff on my eyes. But when I want to feel like I'm looking my best, I always go for like a yellow, orange, red kind of like gradient on my eyes. I feel like that's the thing that I'm the best at making. I don't know that I necessarily look the best doing it, but I, I feel like that's the the colors that blend the most seamlessly on my face. So those are the ones that I always go for. But yeah, if anybody else has a, a, a power item that they like to wear or accessorize with when they want to feel confident, leave it in the comments. We can chat about it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.